Welcome to Enzotec Diagnostics demonstration of its enzymatic fluorescent assays for the rapid presumptive screening and detection of bacteria and infectious diseases. The Enzotec fluorescent assays can be performed on handheld fluorometers or tabletop fluorometers. It is important for the fluorometer to have the correct wavelength emission and excitation which is specific to each assay. Several of our assays require a low wavelength fluorometer or 360 nanometers and others require a high wavelength fluorometer or 490 nanometers. Our product inserts and catalog list which fluorometer is required for each assay. The demonstration performed for this video will be conducted using a handheld fluorometer. The testing performed in this video will not contain any incubation steps and is intended for situations where the user does not need to detect low levels of bacteria. The rule of thumb is, if you need to detect less than 1000 CFU, then follow the normal instructions which contain the incubation steps. The normal incubation time required for the Enzotec assays is only a short additional 5 hours of incubation. However, by following these instructions without incubation, the results can be obtained on the spot within 30 minutes from the time of sample collection. The contents of the kit are one bottle of Reagent A, which is the reagent that is specific for the bacteria you are testing for. For example, if you are using the kit for Salmonella, the Reagent A contained in the kit will detect Salmonella. There is a bottle of Reagent B, which is an enzyme inducer and helps trick the bacterial cell into producing more enzymes. Not all kits contain Reagent B. There is one bottle of Reagent C, which is a lysing agent. Some bacteria have enzymes which are intracellular. Therefore, a lysing agent is used to rupture the bacterial wall and release the enzymes. The kit also contains plastic mixing vials and small glass testing tubes. Some kits do not require the small glass testing tubes and use small plastic test vials instead. The correct contents are listed on each product insert. It is important to follow the instructions carefully as any deviation could cause an invalid result. You will need to have a pipette or a calibrated pipetter with disposable pipette tips. As an alternative, disposable transfer pipettes can be used. Always use proper techniques to avoid cross-contamination. Shall we begin? Be sure and use the correct kit and product insert for the type of sample you will be testing. For instance, if you are testing water or other liquid samples, you will need to use the kit which contains the letter L for liquid in the product code. If you are testing samples such as food or cosmetics that need to be emulsified, then you will use the kit that contains the letter P for product. If you are collecting a sample that requires a swab for collection, such as when testing surfaces, then you will need to follow the product insert which contains an S for swab. For this demonstration, we will be using a liquid sample. First, collect your 100 ml sample and add 4 drops of reagent B, the enzyme inducer. Add 3 drops of reagent C, the lysing agent, to the plastic mixing vial. With a disposable pipette or pipette tip, pipette 175 microliters of the liquid sample from the 100 ml container into the plastic mixing vial. Secure the lid and gently shake. Wait 10 minutes. During this time, the reagent C is lysing the bacterial cells open and releasing the bacterial enzymes, which will be detected by the Enzotec fluorescent assay. After 10 minutes, add 2 drops of reagent A, the substrate, into the plastic mixing vial. Secure the cap and gently shake to mix the solutions. Wait 10 minutes. During this time, reagent A will be reacting with the bacterial enzyme if present in the sample. Using a disposable pipette or pipette tip, pipette 175 microliters of the solution from the plastic mixing vial into the small glass testing tube. For this particular assay, we are using the low wavelength fluorometer. Be sure your fluorometer has been turned on. Place the small glass testing tube into the fluorometer test chamber and secure the fluorometer cap onto the test chamber. Push the measure button on the touch screen. 
Push the button labeled blank on the touch screen. The timer will start counting seconds. This blank function zeroes out background fluorescence. Push the measure button on the touch screen for the initial reading. Zero 01 will display on the top. Push again in 10 to 15 seconds. The reading is usually all zeros. Wait 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the flometer will automatically take a reading and a value will be displayed in the box below the timer. Any numerical value above 500 is a positive result. A zero reading as well as a reading below 500 is negative. Return to the main screen by pushing save once and return twice before running a new sample. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Our fluorescent system is a helpful tool which can be utilized for early detection of bacteria and is easy to use. Thank you again for your kind attention.